Uh, it was my first time going to Bell Ball. It was a skins game out there. Uh, pretty proud moment. Took my son. He just started. And the first hole was about four. I think it's like 410. I hit driver. My second shot was 129. I hit pitching wedge and it rolled right into the cup for two. Nice. Uh, next hole, short par four. Hit it to about 20, 25 feet. Made the putt for three. So I started out two, three, and then it's a really short, gettable par five. I hit driver, uh, five iron. I had 183, and I hit it to about mm, roughly three, four feet, and made that first time ever started five under for three holes. What'd your boy say? Oh, that's that. To me, that was better than the five under after three holes. Just him be able to see it and actually know like the game of golf because he just started maybe about three months ago that he was actually calling me uh daddy cantley <laughs> and i said <laughs> and i said no not even close he, and then he, he had a serious question like on the fourth hole he's like dad do you think you should go pro now <laughs> and i said son i'm far from being pro <laughs> so that but to me that was like the best moment in golf you know not the three three you know two three three start it's the you know playing with my son hey guys Cristo Garcia my swing evolution there's so much happening right now I just have to bring everybody up to speed First off, that's my buddy, John Ruiz. He's a great golfer. His low round is 62. I've seen him go lights out. He has three double eagles. He's one of the best golfers I know. And he's one of my favorite guys to play with because he inspires me so much. He has a Trevino kind of golf swing. And we're going to take a real close look at what he's doing because it's been helping me that I've been playing with him. And I'll get to that at the end of the video. So I'm leaving tomorrow to go play Oakland Hills. This is the monster that Ben Hogan brought to its knees in 1951. Amazing. It's just outside of Detroit. I can't wait to go. I'll report back soon. November 6th and 7th, we're having the first MSE Intensive down in Redondo Beach at the Minimal Golf Studio. That's going to be incredible. Everybody who signs up gets one of these cool Minimal Golf bags. So guys, watch this video. I've been through a lot of stuff lately. Uh, I was going through the long drive stuff, then I lost control of my driver. Now I'm trying to control the driver. Now I'm changing my setup after working with John. So watch this video. There's a lot to learn, and I hope you hit them long and hit them straight. And don't forget, MSE TV, guys, all my stuff is available on MSE TV. You got to check it out. The introductory price is just $9.95. So I highly recommend it, okay? At any rate, Watch this video, and I hope you hit them long and hit them straight. <laughs> What's up, player? Appreciate it. Appreciate it. <laughs> My name is Jonathan Reese. I'm 51, and I'm born and raised in Pasadena, California. Man, watch out for this guy. John has three double eagles, and they were all against me. So <laughs> they're like nightmares, a recurring nightmare. Really a field golfer. Uh, I don't practice much. John is a, a rare breed. He doesn't hit balls. Like, he's from the car to the tee and shoot 65. I've seen it. This dude is a freak. I didn't go on a monitor to get fitted. I just... For your driver, even? Mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> I hate to say it. Uh, this, this gentleman here right next to me knows I don't, I don't practice much. I always tease him that he sold his soul to the devil, so... But he won't tell me the price. <laughs> Okay, guys, so here's John on, this is the 11th tee. He hits a real Buttery. low ball and generally cuts it. There, I hit mine uh, just a little into the right rough. I'm pushing everything, so that's something I'm working on. So here's a little punch cut from John. Another ball right up the middle. Don't you love that? It peels it right up there. Now here I look lined up out to the right, and sure enough, I hit it out to the right. It's another one of our right buddies making it look easy. 
Perfect. That time I was able to work it back into the middle of the fairway. So John sets up with an open stance. He reminds me of Lee Trevino, takes it outside and drops it under. Bunker tip. Look at the front of the ball. Another one of those punch cuts right at the pin. So this is uh, the next week playing skins. John does the same thing right up the middle. I hit that one well. It turned out good. Now this was a good drive right up the middle, but I feel like I'm fighting myself. I'm like turning the club head over. Here we can see John clearly taking it up and outside, open stance, and then he just drops it down on the inside. He does that so consistently. Everybody's got to figure it out for themselves. And what John does just works. He lifts it up and outside and drops it under, just like Lee Trevino. And he does it so consistently, it's incredible. Now what we'll see with my swing here is I feel like I'm fighting going right constantly. My, my feet, my body, you know, I'll, if I early extend, that thing is gonna go right if I block it. There's John right up the middle. Now, now this is the swing that really set me off. I'm like, I'm tired of fighting myself. Watch me line this up, okay? I am aimed at the next fairway. I don't know what the heck I'm doing here. I am aimed way out to the right. And the only way to try and save it on the way down, watch this. I just flip it over. Ah, oh, so I'm just, I'm, I just don't know what the heck I'm doing. There's another one to pull up the left side. It turned out fine, but I decided to open my stance on the simulator and see what was going to happen. So I started to work on these kind of uh, Trevino style cuts. I mean, I don't look that open, but I took it to the course the next week and it worked out great. So guys, I've got a lot to talk to you about when I get back from Oakland Hills, but check out the end of this video with my buddy John getting a phone call from his son Christian. I still get yips and stuff like that and get like real nervous. And how do you, like, you're super confident. I mean, is it, you just, just don't think about your swing or? Um, I mean, not every what, day is perfect, what, what, yeah, but what, you know. What do, what do I do? Yeah, like, how do you keep it cool? You know, when I was little, I always learned how to breathe. And then I take, like, for me, like putting, like, I, kind of release my hands so they, they're not tense so if I'm over my putt I don't you you can't see me but I'll go I'll hold it and then I'll release it breathe through my nose and let it go and then that's how I think I putt so well off the fringe because you have to for me you have to be light-handed yeah to get the putt across like the, the rough area if you're hard and stiff with it, that's where it kind of bounces on you. Right. So, but you know, for me to handle the pressure, just be confident in what you already know, and then try to release the tension. Whatever it is for you to release the tension, me is through the nose and out the mouth, and let my hands. I can feel my hands tightening, and I'll let it go, and then I'll release it. So breath is a big thing in, in a lot of the things that I do and I realize I get short of breath when I get nervous mm. you know and I still just pull the trigger I'm like oh mm. and just to stop the you know just to like I call it a suicide swing <laughs> I'm just like you go? Uh, I went right up the mead lay. Okay. 
Yeah, you're you're right. Yeah. Um, it's like the tension gets so great, I'll pull the trigger even though I don't feel comfortable at all. Does it work for you? No, no, it's usually terrible. <laughs> all right, here we go. Let's see you birdie this last hole. It'll be fun. Yes. First eagle. Oh. Me. Stop it. Shut your ass. I swear to God. I swear to God. First eagle. The two under, boy. You're a liar. I swear. Alex, did it? Am I lying? Yes, Johnny. You got it. No. Like 10 for me to have paid off this drive. Stop it. I swear. <laughs> hey. You want, you want, you want any advice? Huh. Quit now, cause it doesn't get any better. <laughs> Hi, I'm Christo Garcia, the founder of My Swing Evolution. A few years back, I picked up Ben Hogan's Five Lessons book because I wanted to improve my golf game. Well, my golfing dreams came true. Today I'm sponsored by the Ben Hogan Golf Company. I've shot under par many times and I even had the chance to play Ben Hogan in a Golf Channel special. So in this series, I'm gonna take you through the most important lessons that I learned from Ben Hogan's famous book.